Hey guys, okay, so today's video, um, I am going to do favorite drugstore products because I recently got some stuff from the drugstore a couple of days ago to a week ago, and I just wanted to do this because I see a lot of videos like this, and I love watching these because I love drugstore products, they're like my life, and like I said before in my past videos, I'm not that big on high-end products, only because, um, well, number one, drugstore products are a lot cheaper, obviously, hint, hint. And I don't have, like, a Mac by any, any place, or any places like those. Um, Sephora, it's kind of not toward my budget. Um, I will buy some stuff um, from them once in a while, but not that often. So this is going to be just a drugstore favorites video. Um, and I'm going to get started and quit randomly. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to start with foundation because that's the base of your makeup routine, I'm guessing. I just did this weird thing. First thing, I, um, what? Okay, I got this foundation a couple weeks ago, and I've been loving it. This is my favorite foundation ever. I had pictured it today, and I put this and a powder that I'm, and I put a powder on top of it that I'm, I'm going to talk to you about later or next and it just looks really good it looks really good in the photos it's not shiny or whatever so this is the foundation I'm just going to tell you already because you're probably so eager um, this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup um, it says SPF 20 and I'm not big when foundation says F have FP SPF 20 oh my gosh um I don't know why. I mean, I know it's it's like a sunscreen built in and it like protects you from the sun, but I don't know. I'm just weird like that. What the hell? But anyways, um, so yeah, I really like this. The coverage is is like to medium. It's not full coverage. I will say that. Um, I have it on today, like I said, and. I mean, I have a freckle, and I have a couple freckles over here. I mean, it doesn't cover up freckles, but it make, gives your skin a really flawless finish. Um, it does cover up acne pretty well, not fully, but if you do, if you put, like, a blemish concealer on top of it and then the foundation, I am almost pretty sure that it will cover it up. Um, so, this... Oh, and the shade selection is actually... It is pretty big. I mean, it's not terribly small, and it's not, like, mediocre. It's pretty big. Um, it's not, like, really big, though, but, um, I do like it. And I, I don't know what the price is. I think it is $10 to $12, I'm pretty sure. Actually, 9 to $12. Um, I don't remember where I got it, or how much I got it for, but, um, this, it says, Exclusive blend of antioxidants in SPF 20 keeps skin keeps skins young and healthy look. Um, it's lightweight, silky formula, and it is very lightweight. So when you put it on, it doesn't feel like you have that full-on foundation coverage on your face. It is very lightweight, so it feels like you don't have that much, which is always a nice feeling. So I really do like this. Um, next thing, I guess I'll do the powder next. Um, I recently bought this, and this is the CoverGirl, um, Clean Pressed Powder, and I've heard a lot, a lot of good things about this from numerous beauty girls here on YouTube, um, I've heard it from Bunny 97 I'm pretty sure Crazy Ray Ray, Crazy Ray Ray, I love her so much, um, not in a creepy way though, of course, but just... That sounded really weird, but um, I have heard absolutely fabulous things about this, so I do recommend you go check it out. Um, it, this is what it looks like. Oh, and I do like the packaging because I like how it's brown and then the outside is clear. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. I like packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. What can I say? If it looks modern, sleek, and clean, then I will buy it. I'm just weird like that, but it's nice because it has that little compact mirror and then. Has the powder, but it's weird because it smells like baby powder, kind of. 
which I don't really mind the smell. It just smells weird. I mean, it's weird smell, but I do like the powder. It's very nice formula. When you put it on your face, it doesn't have that powdery effect that looks like you do have the powder on. I mean, if you put it on top of foundation, then it, the powder will soak into your foundation and leave you that nice, um, flawless finish. Um, so, I really do like this. I absolutely adore it. Um, so that is that. And then, ooh, okay. And then next thing, um, I will do concealer slash highlighter. Um, I could have just swore the radio just said Taylor Swiss. Okay, I'm hearing things. But anyways, this is the um, Maybelline New York um, Fit Me uh, Concealer. That was a really big face. But this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in sand. This is lighter than a medium-toned concealer would normally be, because for concealer, there's usually light, medium, and dark, or something like that. So, um... This is lighter than medium, but it's not light. Um, and the coverage is, it works really well. I have it on today, although it looks kind of weird. But I just put it under my, underneath my eyes. I just pat it underneath, get in the corners outside. Um, so the coverage is pretty well, works pretty well. I have the foundation, and I kind of like it. I mean, it is one of my favorites. I'm just not, like, crazy about it. But it's just like this. And it kind of looks like a eyeshadow primer thing, um, wand or whatever. Or what's the thing? Lip gloss. That's the other thing. How did I think of eyeshadow primer before lip gloss? I don't know. But it kind of looks like a tube lip gloss, but it's obviously concealer. So you just, I just put three dots on my eyes, under each eye, and I just do that. And you can cover blemishes with it. The coverage is pretty good. It's, like, to medium more toward medium um i do not remember how much this is i believe it is five to seven dollars four to seven dollars sorry um so i really do like that um and then i got the the highlighter this isn't for the highlighter it isn't since i am pulling it together with the concealer category this highlighter is not for your like here it's kind of like a concealer but it's a highlighter so it's a conceal highlight sorry I'm getting mixed up it's underneath your eyes so this is a Neutrogena healthy skin brightening eye perfector with SPF 25 and again this does has SPF so I'm not I don't know I just I'm not that crazy about SPF makeup um but it looks like this um this is the cap so you take it off as the brush applicator where the um, product comes through but be careful because if you do try this out this is about $12 but if you do try it out take off the packaging and do that and then you have to twist this bottom like 10 times so make sure you hear it click 10 times and then after that the product should start coming out but after that don't do it ten times. Do it like one to two times. Otherwise, if you do it more than one to two times, this thing, a whole bunch of product will, it will come out of the center of the brush because that's where it does come out or it comes out through the bristles and there will be a bunch dripping down. And I have experimented that with that. I had to learn that the hard way, which is not fun. Um, but I think it comes in three shades, light, medium, dark. Um, so I am in light. But this works really well as a highlighter. Like I said, this is a highlighter, obviously. You just put it underneath your eyes. And this is really good for in the morning, not much as night, because you want to feel more awake and more lively. Like, yeah, I'm ready to start the day. Now, this is a product that you will need for school. I almost guarantee it. It makes you look wide awake. Not wide awake. It makes you look more awake than you did when you woke up. Um, just brightens your eyes instantly. Um, I absolutely love this. Like I said, it is $12, so it is a little pricey for being a junk store product, which I wouldn't normally pay $12 for it, but I thought, hey, why not? 
why not try it out and if I really like it then it is worth the $12 so I think it's worth the $12 personally so I absolutely love that um, next thing I will do I don't know what I'll do I'll do eyeshadow okay this is an older CoverGirl eyeshadow single and the reason why I'm showing just a single one that like a Maybelline quad or anything like that is because I think this is one of the most essential things. This is pretty much the thing that I started out with. This is just your average champagne color. So it just looks like that. Just your average champagne color. And what I like about the CoverGirl singles is that they're super pigmented. They last a long time, pretty much the whole day. And the color pigmentation, like I said, is superior. Um, I absolutely love it. The shade selection is pretty good. Um, that's what it looks like. So. Okay, that thing, thing just fell out. But yeah, I've had this for a really long time. That, like, pan fell out of the thing. See, look at it. Too bad there wasn't like this little palette thing you could put it in, but it just looks like that, and it's just a super, super pretty champagne color. This is probably by far one of my most favorite, probably my favorite champagne drugstore color, but it is super pigmented. I absolutely love the CoverGirl single, so I think everyone should have that in their makeup collection. I think it is an essential, and these aren't that expensive. They're like 2 to $4, so... Two to five dollars, two to four dollars, something like that. Um, so I absolutely love them. Um, next, I will start with. Well, actually, I probably should have done this before the eyeshadow, but this is the eyeshadow primer, and this is just an Elf eyelid primer, and probably everyone has this. But I'm just saying it to include in my video because this is an essential. Um, this is only a dollar. You can get it at Target. You can get Elf products. Um, at Target, so this is only a dollar, and this is probably one of my favorite uh, I just like blanked and then I yawned. How does that work? I don't know. That was a weird face too. Um, but this is only a dollar, like I said, and like I said, it the wand kind of looks like, you know, like a lip gloss kind of thing, like the Maybelline concealer looks like. Um, looks like this. So I usually just put three dots on my eyelid. Then I just rub it around until it's dry or, you know, not dry. It sounds nasty, but until it's set. And I know that I can put my eyeshadow on. But I usually wait at least 30 seconds to put my eyeshadow on. So the consistency when I put the eyeshadow on the primer isn't, like, really messed up and weird. Um... But I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. So, love it. Um, and then, thinking. Okay, I'll do that. Like, okay, I have substitutes. But, anyways, um, the next thing, I'm just putting this back because I don't want to put it back later. The next, I have two mascaras because I absolutely love these mascaras absolutely so much um I recently got another one of these well not another I recently got another one of this and this is my first one but as you can probably tell this is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara and I absolutely love this stuff so much I was more obsessed with it not obsessed I loved I liked it a lot more at the beginning when I bought it, but I don't know. It's kind of grown on to me, but the wand just looks like this. So, it's pretty big, but it's like weird. Because like the shape of the brush is like triangular. Because like, can you guys see that? Okay, I don't know. Don't mind my, my, the music in the back. I don't even like the song. I don't know why they would play it. Usually Kiss if I'm has good stuff on. Old song by Usher. But anyways, 
absolutely love this a lot. So, and I like how it's flexible, you know, the brush is flexible, bendable, so it works with your eyelashes. So I love that, and I think it's like $7, I think, so love it. This is my second CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Water Resistant, or Aqua Resistant. And the reason why I picked the water resistant one is because I am not too crazy about mas um, waterproof mascaras, but I mean, I will use them. The only reason why I picked the water, the water one is because for some reason I like it better than the regular Lash Blast. I have no clue why. Um... I just like it better because I'm weird like that. But obviously, you just open it up, and the brush looks like it's pretty small. I mean, not the brush isn't really small. It's probably I actually think it's like the same size. Is it? Let's compare. I don't know. It's really close. Like one's bulkier than the other, but one's longer than the other. So. Um, but the bristles are super small, which I kind of like. I don't know why, I just like how they designed it that way. Um, but the brush is pretty thick. And it's just black. I always get black. I either get black, very black, black is black, something like that. So I love that. Um. And for blush, I'm going to try and make this under 20 minutes. I know this is kind of long. I have been rambling, and I just realized that, which means I should probably speed it up more. So, um, next thing is this Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Peach Satin. And I absolutely love this because for the summer, this is great for summertime because for the summertime, like I said before, and probably a lot of other beauty gurus out there on YouTube have said this, you don't want to make look like you don't want to make it look like you have that much makeup on like you're trying too hard so I try not to put that much makeup on I try to do less foundation more concealer if necessary um, less blush kind of less eyeshadow not big with the black makeup um, I make up so this is perfect for that since this is a bouncy blush so it's like a cream blush this is absolutely very good for spring, summer, that type of thing. Even winter. I mean, winter's fine too, but I think it's especially good for spring and summer. Because it is not too pigmented, and it just gives that really nice pink, plush, rosy little glow that makes you look very natural. So, I absolutely love this. I think this is only $7. And um, Peach Zen is probably my favorite color, other than Candy Coral. But, I lost that one. So I need to go get another candy coral one. And I kind of want to try other colors too. I think I want to try hot tamale and like this plum color. But anyways. um, So that's it. And then for bronzers. I would normally show you guys my NYC bronzer. But I used it and I need to get another one. And I was going to get one before I made this video. But I really wanted to make this video because I don't know what else to do. I was either doing and making a video or doing homework. So which one? Homework video. Homework video. Video. Okay. So this, I have two e.l.f. bronzers, and I absolutely love e.l.f. bronzers and blushes. This is the, I'm not going to talk much about this at all. This is the e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer, and just gives that natural bronze glow. But what I do when I put bronzers, here, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys later. Um, and then this is the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. And I think Live for Style, which is another beauty girl on YouTube, she's quite popular. She loves this stuff so much. She hit pan. Um, yeah, I'm using my iPod because I my camera is still broken for like months and months and months. And people can't figure it out why. But anyway, that's beside the point. This is the Elf Golden Bronzer, and it is pretty shim. It's not super super shimmery. Um, sorry, I'm here. Um, but this is in the color golden, and since this is the golden bronzer, it doesn't have to be the color golden, it could be other colors too, but this is, this is pretty shimmery, 
it's not super super shimmery like it shows up like BAM your face is shimmery hun no not like that shimmery um, it just gives that really nice glow especially if you mix all the colors in together um, but like I said I was gonna say I love these off bronzers this one is a dollar this one is three dollars so I think that's super good um, but this um, bronzer I like using it and people don't normally do this, but I like using it underneath my jawbone right here. Not all the way around, but just on the sides. Um, because it kind of defines your face better. It kind of makes you look more shape. It kind of makes you look like your face has more shape and it's not just like a boa. That made no sense. But it makes your face look more defined and you just look more like... If you stand like this, you see that like shadow? If you put it there... It'll kind of make it give you that bronze glow darker look, which will make your face look more defined and look more clean. And what I mean by clean is like, it's hard to explain. If you just if you just try it out, I'm sure you will get what I'm trying to say now, and you will probably explain it in a better way than I am right now. But I think that's all. Wait, I have another one. Last one, I promise. Oh, crap, 21 minutes. Okay, this is my favorite lipstick of all time of this month. This is the Revlon Colorburst Lipstick in Pink Sugar. And this is this really pretty, pretty pinky nude color, more on the pinky side. It doesn't really have that much of a color tint. Well, I mean, it does, but not on your hand. Right there. But, I mean, it is super pretty. This is one of my favorite lipsticks, like, ever. Um, and so is the Revlon Soft Nude, too. But... That is it. I hope you enjoyed. Please, please, please subscribe and please leave a video response if your drugstore favorites down below because I will definitely love watching them. I love drugstore products. Anything that has to do with drugstore, I will watch. And I can guarantee that. Well, I can't guarantee that, but I will guarantee that. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But I will watch it. I pinky promise. Like right now, like pinky promise. Um, but that is that. So please subscribe, comment, rate. Please leave a video response. Um... And just, just, yeah, okay.